Well, welcome back, gentlemen. We are here now on our fourth talk now about this whole concept of dealing with enemy strongholds. And so yesterday we took time and, and spent time talking about uh, the spiritual aspect and how Jesus dealt with the spiritual aspect of the strongholds. Now today I want to spend some time and talk about the soul, the mind, the will, the emotions, that aspect of us. Ephesians 4.17 tells us, So I tell you this, and, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity uh, and a, with a continual lust for more. Going down to verse number 22, it says, you were taught with regard to your former life uh, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, but to be made new in the attitude of your minds. That's what we want to talk about today, finding this newness of mind and overcoming um, these things in our mind. Hebrews 2.18 says, because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. Therefore, holy brothers who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, the apostle and high priest whom we confess. Guys, I want to tell you one of the most powerful ways to overcome this battle in your mind, stop dwelling on it. If you deal with lust, don't spend all your time thinking about how you lust. If you deal with uh, pornography or if you deal with lying or rage or any of these things, don't spend all of your time thinking about how you do that and what a worm you are. Start spending your time and putting your mind on who you are in Christ. I got a great challenge for you. Dr. Kenneth Hagin used to give this challenge all the time. Go through the book of Romans and in the book of Jude and find and highlight anywhere that you see in him, in Christ, in whom, which is basically telling you that this is who you are in Christ and begin to highlight those in your Bible. And as you begin to work through that, there's over a hundred of them that you will find that this is not who you are. This is not what you are. You are what God says you are and what God made you. And you can beat this and overcome it, but we got to get through and renew this mind and get rid of what we call this stinking thinking. All right, I'm with you. I believe in you. You can do this. We'll see you tomorrow.